Buenas everybody, my name is Isis. This is my YouTube space and thank you so much for tuning into my video today. Today we are going over ColourPop's newest launch of news products for them and it is their no filter face products. So it's their no filter foundation, no filter setting powder, and their no filter sheer pressed powder. So ColourPop has already had some no filter products, their no filter concealer, and they just added to what we've been asking them, which is giving us a foundation. So we've been asking and asking and asking, and they finally delivered. So I'm so excited to, I don't want to say do a first impression. This is going to be definitely more of a review. And I actually have a wear test for you guys as well. So, yay! So ColourPop released these items on June 14th. I don't know what day that was, but on June 18th, I received my package and I live on the East Coast in the DMV area. So I think that was pretty relatively fast. And because I got it like in the evening, that's why I didn't do a first impressions video. But on June 19th, which happened to also be my 24th birthday, I did an entire wear test for like the entire day. I'm talking about like 15 hours plus. So it was like a legit wear test. Um, so in today's video, I'm going to do like a demonstration because not only along with the three new products that I got, I picked up a new concealer, um, I got one of their newest gloss formulas, and what else did I get? Oh yeah, and I got a brow pencil. So in today's video, it's going to be like a full face of ColourPop, which makes me so excited. So yeah, and I'm going to be doing a demonstration of all of that today. So if you guys are interested in that, then keep on watching. Okay, so the way that today's video is going to go down, we're going to do the demonstration of all the products, and then I'm going to insert the clips of all of my... Um, for my wear test and then after that we are going to recap the wear test really quickly and then talk about each of the new release items individually and get into like packaging pricing and if i liked it or not and then that'll be it that'll be the review so if you're ready let's do this so i don't know if you guys know but during i think it was like during the first week of the launch which i don't know if that still counts as right now but I don't know. Um, if you would have put in the code no filter, you would have gotten a free foundation brush. I'm actually going to be using that, which is good because when I first put this foundation on, I used it with a beauty blender. So I'll be able to um, figure out my preference. So I'm going to be taking the no filter foundation in shade one dark 155 and I'm just going to pump this all over my face. And then I'm gonna take the ColourPop foundation brush and blend it out. I'm gonna get all the excess off. Oh, awesome. So, do you guys wanna know like cute little facts about my channel and ColourPop? I'm really hoping you said yes, because I'm gonna tell you anyways. Um, so, my very, very first video, I'm actually coming up on my two year channel anniversary in July. And my very, very first video was on ColourPop's Ultra Metallic Liquid Lipsticks, which were new at the time. And I think I got it on the second restock. And so I put up a lip swatch slash like first impressions video. And that, to this very day, is the most viewed video here on my channel. Like by a landslide. None of my, even my second video, it doesn't even come close to that my first video and I just thought it was crazy like that's my very first video on my channel that I ever posted and has the most views the last time I checked it was like 1,900 something views and I just think that's crazy and then my second most video is actually ColourPop's um, the Lux lipstick first impression slash lip swatches that I did earlier this year when those first released so I just think it's crazy and I feel like a lot of you are probably just like passing through just trying to figure out like what shades look good on what skin tones and which is like your best match and everything if you're just trying to figure that out. So if you are just passing through, take a look at the rest of my channel. You never know, you might like what I'm putting out there and you might become part of the familia. Okay, so next I'm gonna be going in with my no filter concealer in the shade medium dark 36. And I'm just gonna apply this underneath my eyes, a little bit on my forehead, and just a tiny bit on my nose. And 
I didn't, this isn't really that damp, but I'm taking my Real Techniques, my dirty Real Techniques beauty sponge, and I'm just going to blend this out. Okay, next I'm going to be taking my no filter setting powder in banana and I'm just going to tap some of the product into the cap. And I'm going to take the flat end of my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and I'm just going to grab some of that product and I'm just going to apply it on my under eyes and my t-zone so mainly my forehead and my nose and my chin because those are my most oily areas and like no matter what i do my face always just my natural oils always break through the foundations no matter what so i always like to use setting powder to combat that so that's why i put it on my t-zone because that's like the only oily area of my face messy then I'm gonna take this Royal and Langnickel blush brush but it's a really fluffy natural brush and I'm just kind of kind of pat this into the skin and then also brush it away so kind of press it into the skin and brush it away did y'all see that powder it kind of was like in the shape of a heart All right, so then I'm gonna take, <laughs> so I'm snagging this little poofy thing from my Laura Mercier um, translucent powder and I'm gonna take my no filter sheer press powder in dark and my mirror came broken. <laughs> so I'm gonna just take that out. And I'm just going to swivel and also apply this, just gonna pat it on my, uh, my oily areas as well, just to combat that same issue that I was saying how I'm just oily as hell so all right next I'm gonna be taking my brow boss in the shade soft black and I'm just going to emphasize the natural shape of my eyebrows which I teased earlier today and just fill in the sparse areas Okay, so next I'm gonna be taking my ColourPop pressed powder face in a bronzer in the shade Rodeo Dry. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to take this Royal and Langnickel contour brush. I'm just going to swivel the product and just add this on my cheeks lightly first. And I'm also going to add some more warmth on my forehead. I'm going to take my luster dust in the shade Dewdrop. Got to be very careful with this product. <laughs> so pretty. And then I'm going to take this Sonia Kushak Lake really precise highlighter brush and I'm going to take the product just dab a little bit tap off the excess apply it on the apples of my cheeks just kind of give a little bit more to make it even I'm gonna put the cap back on and I'm going to take my ColourPop fan brush 
and I'm going to distribute it on my cheeks and if I have to I'll move it up on my temples as well Then I'm going to take the, um, what is this? Yes, the Ultra Glossy Lip in the newest formula released. And I have the shade on board. And I'm just gonna add this to my lips. with some shadow and I'm going to take my super shock shadow that's broken actually in the shade Central Park and I'm going to take this oh this ColourPop um, eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to add this on all over my eyelid oh that's a pretty color a little bit on my lower lash line. And I'll be right back because my kids and my fiance are watching Coco and it's our favorite part, the Un Coco Loco part. So, and plus I'm gonna go grab my mascara. Okay, be right back. I ran out of lash glue and I really wanted to wear lashes today, but my lash glue is gone and I didn't know about this. So I'm gonna be taking my um, Benefit Bad Gal Bang and I am going to apply this on my upper and lower lashes. Did some eyeshadow, which is so random of me. Check. Eyelashes. Ugh, check. I did bronzer, concealer, highlighter. Oh, say hi, YouTube. Hi. No, look at my phone. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Okay, say bye, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. No, bye. Bye. Okay. <laughs> hey, mommy. Yeah. Two more songs are coming on. Okay. Are you gonna sing them? Yeah, the other one is on. Okay, close the door. You hear me? Uh, yeah. Not too loud, though. Okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so here is the full face of ColourPop, the no filter face. What do you guys think? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to insert the clips from my wear test that was on my birthday, and then I'm going to do a quick recap, and then we'll get into the nitty gritty, yeah? Hey guys, so today is June 19th, Tuesday. It's my birthday, and I am doing the ColourPop wear test. So I've had this on my face since about 5.45, and it's 7.45 now. And I did the full face, so I did the foundation, the concealer, I did the banana setting powder, I also did the pressed powder. I didn't bring the pressed powder with me, I meant to, but I forgot. And then, um, actually the rest of my face is also color pop aside from my mascara, but my brows are the Brow Boss, and then I also have their new lip gloss, and I have some bronzer, <clears throat> some bronzer on. Um, so far, I really, love it i ended up getting a perfect match for my skin tone i wouldn't say absolute perfect um but like from here it looks pretty good i'm really really happy with my no filter face and i um cannot wait to see how this holds up for the rest of the day so i will check in with you guys later all right, you guys, so it is 1.10 in the afternoon. So I've had this on for a solid seven hours or so, and I'm only a little oily here. 
Um, I just think that's just because the sun is right here. And then on my chin, so I have a tissue. See, this would be perfect if I had that uh, blotting powder, but I don't. So I have a little tissue and I'm just gonna do my forehead just for. And that's how much got on the tissue. Not that bad. And we're kind of back in action. There's my update and I'll check in with you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, so it is 524, almost been a whole 12 hours since I've had all of this on makeup on my face. Now, obviously I had gloss on this morning and I just ended up, it ended up coming off after I ate majority of my lunch. And um, I ended up putting on my Lux lipstick in the shade Gallop. But yeah, so this is how I was holding up. I am a little greasy on my nose, but other than that, I still look good. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so I'm currently getting gas. I don't know if you can hear me that well because I'm outside, but um, it's been damn near 15, 14 or 15 hours I've been wearing the no filter face. And I think it's been holding up pretty well. I can like feel it just wanting to melt away, but I feel like 14, almost 15 hours of wear is not bad at all. Um, it's starting to come off a little bit on some of my blemishes, but that's to be expected. Um, there's like some nitty gritty details. You can see my nose getting pretty oily. There is my wear test. I will give you guys my final thoughts and everything once I record my videos. So, bye guys. Okay, so honestly, I think the foundation wore really well and the other products also wore really well for me. Like I mentioned in the video, I think I should have carried the no filter sheer press powder with me because when I started getting oily towards the end of the day, I feel like this would have came in handy and I could have like used this to blot all the oils if I can open it, um, to blot all the oils away. Um, other than that, the foundation I personally think wore very well. As you can see like from the beginning of the video progressing to the end of the clips, um, I was like really really matte, just kind of like how I am right now at the beginning and towards the end you might have noticed some of the foundation away on my chin. That's because like I had a zit and I was messing with it and I ended up taking a tissue and like wiping it constantly. So I ended up like wiping the foundation away. Um, so I did want to mention that this foundation isn't necessarily transfer proof. Yeah, I think it wore very well. Like I said, I don't know if ColourPop um, advertised it as long wearing, but I wore it over 15 hours and I think it held up really well. And I also exposed it to the weather. So like I was driving with my windows down, I went outside, it was humid as hell. Oh my gosh. So I think it held up really, really well. So enough of that. Let's get into each of the new products and hear my thoughts on it. Okay, so let's first go over the no filter foundation. So like I said, I ended up getting dark 155. It retails for $12. I really love the packaging. It comes in a glass bottle. You get 0.85 fluid ounces worth of product here. I think that's really well. Um, I've never used an entire bottle of foundation ever in my life. I almost did with Fenty Beauty this winter, but I have not. I was nervous about shade 155 because I typically have peachy undertones but this foundation described according to ColourPop is not like peachy undertones as I mentioned in the wear test videos it was perfect but I gotta tell you it blends really well I think this is like the best perfect shade for me I just wish it had like a hint of pink in the undertone just a little bit like I'm talking about like maybe two drops worth the pink for the undertone because then I think it would have matched me like perfectly spot on on camera and honestly in the mirror but I did bronze a little bit so it did bring that warmth back in and the bronzer Rodeo Drive kind of has like some reddish undertone so it brought all that back in um, but the foundation by itself I noticed like towards the end of the day um, it was 
leaning a little bit more yellow but i love the fact that they described it as like a warm golden yellow not as opposed to yellow because i think shade dark 150 was more on like the yellow side because ColourPop also released like a foundation like matcher so they took a lot of fenty beauty the mac colors the i think estee lauder double wear and the maybelline fit me and if you have a shade in any of those foundations they had like this chart where you could see the foundation that you are in those shades and then match it best to ColourPop's no filter foundation so shade dark 150 was very similar to fenty beauty's 370 and shade 160 was very similar to fenty beauty's shade 380 and if you guys saw my fenty beauty review I didn't really get a perfect match from Fenty Beauty. Um, I didn't like 370 or 380 because 370 was too yellow and 380 was too pink. So that's another reason why I stuck with my, you know, my gut and got shade Dark 155 from ColourPop because that was the one of the only foundations that didn't have like a comparison. So I figured this would probably be best for me because that was what I was missing from Fenty Beauty was something that was in between shade 370 and 380. And to me, this was kind of like ColourPop's here you go for everybody who was like the same, running into the same issue as me. So I totally think it was worth the money. I absolutely love that this has a lock mechanism, which I think was kind of necessary for the fact that they don't have a cap. I'm not mad at the fact that it didn't come with a cap, but I'm just like, why not? But I'm over it, I don't care. Um, as you can see, my bottle has gotten a little bit messy. Um, the only reason why is because the very first time that I used it, I don't think I locked it. So when I came back home, I had like foundation like all over the cap. And then as you saw when I was applying it, I kind of like take the foundation and like wipe it against my face to get all that product. Um, but for the most part, it wears very nicely. It's an oil-free formula, a natural matte finish. If you have dry skin and you're coming across my video, I'm sorry I can't help you because I don't know how this foundation wears on dry skin. However, my girl Kayla Arne, she's gonna be dropping a video on all the new products as well. I will leave her channel linked down below in my description box and you can check it out when her video goes live and you can see how it is on drier skin because she will have that point of view. Moving on to the no filter setting powder. I got it in the shade Banana. And the reason why I got banana because I felt like the dark was too dark for me and I already have a translucent powder and I've never used a banana powder before so I wanted to try something new and I honestly liked it like I said it's new for me so I don't know how I feel about it yet because it has like that yellow tone to it right now I can't really see it and I think it's flattering me. I just don't know how I feel about it. But this retails for $9 and I think it's totally worth the money. The actual powder itself was really finely milled. It's a little messy, um, but what translucent powder isn't to be honest with you. So yeah, I love this. The powder is really super soft and it went on like a dream, like any setting powder. I really feel like you can't go wrong with setting powder, but I like this. It's not like super, super yellow, which I think is what I like about it. It's like that. I don't even know how to describe that. But like it's yellow, but it's not like yellow, you know? <laughs> so yeah, I liked it. Um, like I said, it's a new experience for me, so I'm not too sure. Like I can't say, oh, I've had all these other banana powders and this one is like fantastic. I, this is my first time using a banana powder, but as a setting powder itself, definitely worth the money and definitely worth trying. Now this bad boy, the No Filter Sheer Press Powder, also retails for $9. I got it in the shade Dark, which I think is perfect for me. Um, I don't, like this, I don't know, I just really love this. In my mind, I'm seeing, I'm, this, this product is like a, like a tinted blotting powder almost. Um, it feels really nice on the skin. Um, I really love like that almost airbrush look that it gave me and I love the fact that it's sheer because you know this does have a tint to it and it didn't like take away any of the highlight that I did like I still see 
the um, concealer and what I did and everything. So I like that it goes on sheer and I just, I love this product. This is something new to me. I don't typically use products like this. I do have a like rice powder deal, but it's translucent. So this is like the first tinted like powder that's kind of in my mind used for blotting and I love this product so this is something I'm actually going to be putting in my everyday makeup bag I just need to find something like this to put in it to always have with it because that's like the only thing I personally think that this goes on better with one of these versus a brush so I'm kind of going to pack backtrack for a second but before I do I personally think that this applies better with something like this versus a brush because when I did my try on for the wear test, I used a brush for this and I felt like it probably would have lasted a lot longer if I like did something like this and press it into the skin. So rewind and let's go back to the no filter foundation. So on the 19th, I used a beauty blender and as you guys saw today, I used my ColourPop flat foundation brush. I personally like this foundation with the brush. Um, not saying that the sponge was any less of the same result, but I will tell you like this is what's going to happen with every brush, I mean with every beauty sponge. It's going to take some of your product away and this foundation already has like a medium coverage so if you really want to get the most out of your coverage of this foundation i strongly suggest using the brush and if you got this one for free i think this brush is really nice but honestly by personal preference i'm somebody who goes for a sponge but i didn't realize like that morning when i was putting it on that i should have used the brush that I got for free but when i had filmed this the first time hey when I had filmed this video the first time, because it's my second time filming this, um, I used the brush and I really loved the end look. So yeah, that is my thoughts and opinions on the new no filter products that ColourPop released. And yeah, there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, check out my other videos. You never know, you might actually like my content and want to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you picked up any of the new products, including the foundation, and let me know what shade you ended up getting. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.